uh, assisted eccentric muscle, we want to have a bench underneath the ring with the ring set high enough that at the bottom of the ring dip, you'll see in a moment, my feet aren't touching the bench or they're just hovering over the bench. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get to the top of the ring dip position. So now I'm going to slowly lower myself down on the bottom of the ring dip. So right here, I'm just able to touch the bench and I'm going to use this as the lightest spot as I need to get into the false grip as I'm transitioning to the top of this false grip pull up and then simply lower myself back down. People struggle with this maintaining of this false grip position or they have trouble developing the strength in the bottom of the ring dip to actually keep it glued to our chest to lower into the top of the false grip pull up. So by having this spot here, it slowly lets, to, it lets us give us as much or as much or as little assistance as we need to get into that false grip. So as you start to get stronger with this, what's gonna happen is you'll need less and less support till eventually we've got you progressing in the next phase to the full version of the uh, eccentric muscle up where you no longer need the spot and you can control it all the way down. So what one more good rep's gonna look like. Top of this, we're gonna lower ourselves down, little as spot as possible, keeping the rings against the chest, maintain that false grip, lower ourselves back down.